Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Queens Rise Up. You know how we do. Yes, this is Queen Rise Up Women Empowerment. And what we do around here, we empower all women to know their worth. Because Queen, guess what? You are worth something. Queen, guess what? You are valuable. Queen, I need you to wake up, shake off yesterday's dust. It is a new, fresh restart on your day. I want you to get up this morning and make the devil mad that your feet has hit the ground. Put your foot on the neck of the enemy this morning. Good morning, Ro. Good to see you. Put your foot on the neck of your enemy this morning. Whatever that is in your life. Put it on his juggler that he will no longer be able to transfer his information to you. He will no longer be able to bombard your mind with negative thoughts. Come on, queen. This thing is up to you this morning. Get up and shake that thing off. Listen, I don't know about you, queens, but I'm going to tell you this morning, God is working it out on your behalf. Can I tell you? Yes, he is. Is stand assured, stay confident in the things of God. Can I just say that, ladies? Listen, I need you to get up, shake the dust off. Tell the devil not today. Let God know he rules and he reigns. Come on. And that you will walk in your dominion and your authority to this, this morning. Listen, queens, declare your day. No matter what happens and what goes down in it, God still rules and God still reigns. Listen, queens, this morning, I just want to talk about a topic real quick. I only got 15 minutes to do it and I'm excited about it because a lot of times we want God to do certain things in our lives, but there are some things that God needs us to deal with or bring it to the uh, to the forefront to be exposed for the deliverance that is needed on your life, And but sometimes we are scared to deal with them. Good morning, Elaine and Ro. Thank you, Queens, for joining me this morning. Let's deal with the word insecurity. A lot of times as women, we deal with insecurities in different areas. Listen, an insecurity is just an anxiety about oneself or a lack of confidence, or uncertainty, or you are timid, insecure. And then there's a state of being, there's a place of also insecure, um, where you're not, where you're feeling threatened, unprotected, um, you're feeling uh, like somebody's going to rob you of something, or maybe you've been, uh, someone trespasses against you. Listen, and those things cause anxiety and fear to come up dealing with insecurities. We have, and let me tell you something, Queens, we have all been tried by something or someone when it comes to feeling secure or insecure. How about that? And a lot of things, maybe from our childhood, things that have happened to us while, while we were children and we became insecure, insecure women. Mm, come on, Queens, insecure women. Listen, maybe in your marriages, you, you start to, you, you maybe you weren't insecure, but through the things that you have experienced within that relationship, cause you to have a sense of insecurity. But this morning, Queens, I'm telling you, there is no security and no relationship. There is no security in any financial um, status. There is no security in any job. Queen, listen, there is no security in those things. Matter of fact, there is no security even in yourself. Let me tell you something, Queen. This security, come on, it comes with assurance, and his name is Jesus Christ. Can I tell you, he comes with assurance, not insurance, to assure you he got your back. Listen, queens, he is the one that's going to do the deliverance of insecurity on your life. Because if you don't deal with the fact that you're dealing with insecurity, it will hinder your relationships. It will hinder your purpose. Queens, listen, insecurity. Let me read it again into your hearing because we're going to lock and load, queens. Because if you're not... Understand your security doesn't come into you with your spouses. They cannot fulfill the void. It doesn't, your money will not fulfill the void. Come on, queens. Let me tell you something. That relationship, that job will not fulfill the void of insecurity. Can I tell you, we can dress it up. We can put the best lipstick on. Yes, we can. But queen, until we deal with the root of a thing, there will no be, there will not be true deliverance. Listen, and we don't want to get prideful in ourselves because on this journey, I am teaching about self-awareness, self-care, self-awareness. But remember, the true rock and the cornerstone and the assurance to this process is Jesus Christ. Can I say that? So, Queen, let me go ahead and lock and load because, listen, he says in Jeremiah 
17 and 8. Let me lock and load this morning, Queens, because I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm excited about it already. I love when the Holy Ghost started to stir those things up. So, Queen, get up and declare your, your morning this morning. Declare according to Jeremiah 7. Come on, Queen. Assurance. Come on, Queen. Not insurance. Come on. Assurance. Amen. Jesus is mine. Don't you, don't you start now. I'm already hot up over here. Listen. He says, Queens, this morning, he says, blessed. I'm, I'm locking and loading this morning for Jeremiah 7 and 18. Start your day right. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, who trusts in the Lord. Come on, Queen. He is, he is like a plant. Queen, you're like a plant. Rooted. Come on, planted by water. You're like a tree. A tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes. It, and for its leaves remain green, and it is anxious, it's not anxious in the year of drought, for nor for it does not cease to bear fruit. Come on, Queen. Good morning, Queens. Ramona, good to see you, Marsha. Jeremiah 17, 17, Queen, 17. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Jeremiah 17 and 8, Queen. Listen, if you trust him as your assurance, even when you're dealing with insecurities, let me tell you, saying, come on, Queen. Good morning, Wanda. Good to see you this morning, Queen. Listen, Queens, I want you to lock and low. Start your morning out right. He says, Jeremiah 17 and 18. Let me read it again until you're hearing. I'm hot up over here. Listen, he says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Come on, whose trust is in the Lord. Come on. And he is like a tree. Queens, are you like a tree? Are you planted by the water that your roots are grown deep? So when you get into a hard place and start to deal with insecurity, the lack of self-confidence or control or anxiety, Queen, listen, you know to dig deep and go into the root of a thing that you still have life because Jesus is the, he is the root of life. Can I say that? Come on, Queen. That's it, Queen. Jeremiah 17 and 18. Listen, we all face different things in our lives as women, whether it's dealing with our money, our marriages, our emotional, psychological, it doesn't matter. We all face some type of insecurity as a woman. Bottom line, as a human being, you want to put it in that matter of fact, but it's how you deal with that insecurity. Listen, I always felt in my marriage, I should have been protected. Protect me. If you don't protect me, I protect myself. That's how I use, that's how I roll. But listen, it is God who does. He's the protector. He's the protector queen. He is. He's the one that guards you. He is. You got to stay rooted in him. Can I say that? And these treasures that I am talking about today, they are in Christ Jesus. Can I just say that? Listen, queen, I need you to stand up this morning and make sure you are planted. Come on. You are planted like a tree. I said, lock and load, queen. Jeremiah 17 and 8. Listen, you are planted You are planted like a tree by the water. I was looking at this plant here today. And so I've got this plant. It's just as dead as two left shoes. And it's because it hasn't been watered. Queen, listen, don't dry out. Make sure your roots, the roots are being watered by the gospel. That's where the life is. Can I say that? That's where the insurance is. But I looked at my plant today. There's no life in it. There's dry, the root. I don't know about water again. Would it come back alive? Hey, listen, but queen, don't let this be you. Don't dry out. Come on. Don't dry out. Make sure you are planted by the river of water and your roots run deep, which is in Christ Jesus. Listen, that's where your security is. Is. He's the rock. He is the true foundation to your life. You're wondering why you can't come out. You're wondering why I keep going through the same processes. Listen, Queens, God is trying to let you know this morning. I am your rock. I am your solid rock. You are the tree. Make sure you are planted by the water. Come on, Queens. Listen, this morning we break the head off of insecurities because we're trying to, what we're working on is getting to our purpose and, and our destiny so that we can fulfill the purpose and the plan that is on our lives. Can I say that, Queen? Listen, your life and your life matters this morning. I want you to know that. I need you to get up out of that hard place. And I don't know if you put all your eggs in one basket, but you've got to take them out. Don't put your eggs in one basket in your marriage and your finances and your business and your children. Queens, listen to me today. Your assurance is in Jesus Christ. Can I say that? He is the one that does the healing and deliverance when we are feeling anxious and fear, um, anxiety and secure. Come on, Queens. Listen, and yes, maybe you face some things in life. Yes, tragedy has happened. Yes, maybe you've been through infidelity. Yes, maybe you've been through adultery. Yes, maybe they fired you on your job. Yes, maybe you've been sick in your body. But queens, those things are not the way we are, uh, secure our lives. Can I 
say that? It is assurance in Jesus Christ. And queen, you got to make sure you are rooted like a tree by the water. Listen to me, queens, listen. So that when you go through hard places, your leaves remain green. Come on, did you see the dead plant for not being watered? The roots not being watered or the right things getting into it? Come on, queens. Dry as two left shoes. Can I say that? Listen, queens, when you're, when you're going into, when you're walking into purpose or getting ready to shift into destiny, can I just say this? Your leaves still got to remain green even in a hard place. Come on, queen. The enemy's mad this morning. He's mad with you because you don't put your feet on the ground this morning. And I hope you have declared over your life that I will remain I will remain by the water where the roots are, so my roots can be run deep, which is in Christ Jesus. Listen, queens, I need you to get up this morning, and I need you to trust God with your life. How about that? Trust God with your life. When we are living, um, experiencing things, uh, experiencing insecurity, we do things, and then we make ourselves vulnerable to the enemy. Queen, don't make yourself, don't, don't become vulnerable to the enemy because of your insecurities or going outside of the will of God because of your insecurities. Listen, queens, you are more valuable than you have really imagined. You don't even, you, you, I don't even think you've even grasped the value of your life, how important you are or the worth you are, queen. Listen, what are you doing that is devaluing, 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 am I saying that right? Devaluing you as a woman. What is it that's taking away from you? What is causing you to feel like you are a discount? Queen, listen, your value is important. Don't let anything devalue you. That's what I'm trying to say, queens. Listen, don't let anything devalue you. You are important. And listen, Lock and load this morning according to Jeremiah 17 and 8. And I need you to put this in your spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm. Because blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Whose trust is in the Lord. He is like a tree planted by the river queens. How far are your roots? Listen. Are your trees, are you still producing fruit? Even in, the, in, a, in, a, in a place of insecurity. Listen queens. God is the ultimate assurance of your life. So listen, don't confidence. And I'm gonna tell you something. The, some of us need this the the spiritual pieces that we need because we can we can dress it up. We can look real good. We can look very studious, but we are still still hiding behind the outer appearance of really what's going on. Queens, listen, I don't know what about you, but I, we need to deal with it. I like to deal with the truth. I ask God today that he would expose anything in your life that, that you may not be aware of. Expose anything in your life that may be hindering you from your process. Anything that is causing your roots to dry out. Listen, queens, this morning, listen insecurity. Don't let it be the demise of your purpose. Can I just say that this morning? We want a manifestation of God's awesomeness on your life. Yes, but there is things that must be dealt with in your life. And a lot of times we deal with things as a little girl. I mean, you know, maybe a woman out there, she's been molested. We don't know. Maybe she's been abandoned. I don't know. Maybe she's been up, put up for adoption. There is things in the spiritual realm that cause insecurities on our lives. But God wants you to know this morning, queen, that he's the insurance assurance policy to your life. Not the insurance policy, but the assurance that, listen, he got you. Can I just say that? It doesn't matter. Jeremiah 17 and 8. And queens, make sure you are rooted by uh, uh, like a tree. Come on, queens. Listen, there is so much. Let me see what else God got for us. Because when he was talking to me, um... There was so much information in a short period of time. I got like two minutes, queens. But listen, this morning, I want you to get up this morning. And I want you to shake that thing off in your spirit realm this morning. Declare that I am rooted. Come on, I am like a tree. Rooted. Come on, and my leaves will not wither. Come on, queens. Get up this morning and shake the dust off off your feet. Come on. Chantrice Grant, thank you for joining me this morning. Beverly, God bless you, queens. Thank you for seeing, for seeing uh, Rising Up and for seeing you this morning. Jean, good morning, queen. I got one minute. I got to roll up out of here. But listen, ladies, I want you to understand that Jesus 
Jesus Christ is your assurance this morning. Listen, let me hit you real quick with Psalms 23. God, Lord, have mercy over here. Psalms 23 and 2 and 3. He says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He is your security blanket, queens. He leads me beside still waters. Come on. He restores your soul. He leads you in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Queen, it don't get better than that. Can I tell you? He makes you lie down in green pastures. Queen, it is his rest that you want. Come on. I am rooted. I hear you, Queen. Good morning, um, uh, Shantisa. I think it is Shantisa. Um, yes, Juan. That's it, Queen. I am rooted. Declare it this morning because you know what? When the winds blow, come on. When the winds blow and, the, and it starts to beat up against the house, you got to still be able to stand, Queen. Listen. That's it, um, Rose. Yep. Psalms 23 and 2 to 3. Yes. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Queens, I hope this morning he is causing a rest in your spirit. Can I say that? Listen, chaos might be going on in the outside, but what's happening in the inside, queens? What's happening in your mind this morning? Is he allowing to rest into green pastures? Is he leading you beside the still waters? Queens, listen, he got you this morning. Can I tell you? So cast all your cares on him. Cast all your anxiety on him. Cast all your fears on him. Come on, queen. Cast them this morning in the name of Jesus. Listen, Queens, it is 7 o'clock. I got to get up out of here. But I want you to know here at Queens Rise Up that I love you, ladies. Yes, I do. Listen, and understand, for those who are joining for the first time, my name is Chantel C. Ross. This is Queen Rise Up. And what we do around here, we empower all women to know their worth. Because, Queen, guess what? You're worth something, whether you like it, whether you believe it, and whether you know it or not. Can I tell you, you are valuable. Listen, so um, go to my blog. Come on. I love you, too, Queen. Go to my blog, queenriseup.com. If you have any comments or concerns, inbox me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Or email me at queensriseup1 at gmail.com. You know I always got to tell you, get your cup so you can sup with me in the mornings. Go to zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E dot com. Put in Queens Rise Up. Get your cups, your t-shirts, your hoodies. You call it what you want. All merchandise and products are there. Queens, listen, I love you. I love you too, ladies. Go ahead and set, come on, go set the earth. Go set the earth on fire today with what you have received this morning. Can I just say that? Ladies, I love you. God bless you. God bless you. Have you love you too. You are a true blessing. God bless you, queen. Keep praying for me, queen, because queen, much is given. Much is required. Can I tell you? Listen, ladies, I love you. Come on. I love you. I love you. Love you. I will see you. At Beverly, thank you. I love you, queen. Listen, I guess I see you tomorrow, 645, 7 o'clock. See what God got to say. We're dealing with our insecurities. We're dealing with them so they won't have to deal with us, queens. Woo! Rise up. Don't start no row. I got to get up out of here. I love you, ladies. God bless you. Please share this video with some woman because she needs to know that God has need of her. Can I say that? God bless you. I love you. See you tomorrow.